A third wave of COVID-19 is forcing new lockdowns to spread across Europe, but with the restrictions comes resentment and resistance to the new rules. In Germany, police used water cannon and pepper spray to disperse anti-lockdown protesters in the city of Kassel. Chancellor Angela Merkel has warned new restrictions will likely be imposed, with cases of the virus rising exponentially. But protesters say the measures such as the closing of non-essential shops, hotels, restaurants and gyms are a threat to their freedom. I consider coronavirus to be a serious disease just like the flu, but to make a pandemic out of it, as we're experiencing now with many restrictions on our basic rights, I don't think that's justified. In neighbouring Switzerland, more than 5,000 protesters gathered in the town of Lietstel to demand an end to Covid restrictions which have shut restaurants and other public places for months. I'm here because we want our lives back. We want to live, we want live in a democratic uh, land. We want uh, our children be free and safe. Elsewhere in Europe, more anti-lockdown protests on Saturday, from Bulgaria to Romania, Serbia to Croatia. I am here because I am fed up with the lies coming from ignorant people. It's not only in Croatia, it's across the world. They want to force us to stay in our houses and not to go out, not to breathe, not to work, not to eat. And what do they want from us? To crawl on the floor? Enough is enough. In the UK, dozens of anti-lockdown protesters were arrested on Saturday as campaigners defied police warnings and marched through central London. Under current restrictions, it's unlawful for groups to gather to protest. These demonstrators want those rules changed. As do more than 60 MPs who signed a letter to the Home Secretary urging her to ease the rules and allow peaceful protests. But some global health experts say that would be a mistake. Right now what we need is continued restrictions. I'm hesitant to say that because I know that it's not a popular position, but we need to continue a few more months with these restrictions and we need to scale up vaccination much, much more rapidly, which means we need to increase manufacturing of vaccines. There's frustration with the slow rollout of vaccines in the European Union and a dire warning from the German health minister that there aren't enough vaccines in Europe to prevent a third wave. And despite these demonstrations, it appears tighter measures are on the way. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.